Uh, good evening everyone uh, welcome to this embedded system design iot and pcb design master class series i warmly welcome you to the session thanks for coming and thank you for your time and today topic is uh, pcb design okay so the next 10 days is about pcb design okay so uh, first i would like to welcome you all for this event uh, first i would like to welcome the early comers first uh, good evening manoj uh, good evening kiran kumar kiran kumari good evening ram krishnan good evening bele good evening uh, joseph uh, good evening and uh, ujwal good evening uh, rajadurai good evening uh, satyamurthy good evening uh, divya shaji prajwal nagireddy shahid and uh, uh, shrutika good evening satyanarayana good evening sunil good evening shiva prasad good evening uh, satyam good evening kausalya good evening jagadar singh jagadar singh good evening raju good evening okay. harish good evening bargav mohana krishnan tahir rashil shivam raj avinash suresh naidu uh, swati uh, reebak mahto good evening and uh, anushya rani good evening siddharth takur priyanka baskar yadav saurav maunika uh, rokita kirti uh, vasant uh, ram gnesh aditya reddy so good evening to all tahir banu prashna kumar ramadevi pankaj so thank you so much uh, if i am audible just type audible in the chat box uh, thank you so much for your time if i am audible just type audible in the chat box i am waiting for your chat good evening bishal sajid khan good evening priyanka good evening uh, shrutika good evening arun uh, good evening uh, gupta bhavana and sahit sri karan raina and sahid ahmed darshan good evening so uh, if i am audible just type yes in the chat box thank you rohit thank you rohit raina thank you uh, gupta thank you saurabh das thank you durga prasad thank you sai kalyan thank you okay let's go for the session so to this 10 days we are going to learn about pcb design okay so day 1 is about introduction to pcb uh, like we'll be covering up the terminologies of uh, pcb design like uh, uh, what is pcb design and what are the technologies used and what are the pcb terminologies and what are the tools used that will be covered up on day 1 day 2 we'll be covering up how to design a 851 board okay uh, how to draw the schematics where to collect the schematics and how to collect the data sheets and how to draw the schematics from scratch so that we'll be covering up on tomorrow day 2 and day 3 is schematic tool explanation how to draw schematics using cadence captures okay so that will be covering up on day 3 and day 4 we'll be creating the library uh, like schematic library how to create a schematic library if that is if if you don't have any uh, libraries or if you if you want to create a library for a custom part then how to create that so that will be covering up on day 4 day 5 how to draw a simple schematic and how to do a pcb layout how to create footprints and how to draw the layout and finally how to generate the gerbers okay so for a simple schematic just for an led and a, a resistor and a connector okay so that is on day 5 on day 5 you will be able to understand how to design a simple uh, two layer pcb and how to generate gerbers for manufacturing so that that will, that is on day 5 okay so day 6 uh, day 6 will be covering up the 81 board schematic how to draw the schematic design on uh, so 81 schematics on cadence capture cells okay the complete 81 board how to design that day 7 how to create schematic library and pcb footprints for the 81 development board day 8 is component placement how to place that on a board file and day 9 is finally routing and jabber and day 10 is graduation day and wrap up okay so these are the things which we are going to learn the board what we are going to design is this board okay 851 uh, development 852 evaluation board so this is the board which we are going to design for the next 10 days so the features it has a power supply unit so which has a bridge rectifier uh, which could accept both ac adapter as well as dc adapter 9 volt for so that's why we have a bridge rectifier and we also have a usb to uart programmer usb to uart serial converter and third is you also have rs232 serial converter okay rs232 connector uh, to connect to the any rs232 device and you have two switch two push switch okay two push switch for interrupt study and one led and one reset and can, these are the box connectors okay 10 pin box connectors and these are the 20 pin box connectors okay so this is the board which we are going to design at the end of the 10 days definitely i'm sure that you'll be able to design this board okay i'll guarantee that you'll be designing this board and uh, 
these are the process involved okay so uh, let me uh, so how to make schematics okay uh, of the first the first process is drawing the schematics uh, on capture sys so we will be collecting the data sheets and we will be drawing the schematics okay then second thing is like if 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 we don't have a library library part then we will be creating our own part so that is creating a schematic library how to create schematic library but how to make pcb footprints okay so uh, the footprints of the actual part so how to create pcb footprints uh, and how to place those components how to draw a board file and how to place the pcb footprints and how to generate netlist and how to generate uh, how to import the netlist to the pcb layout and finally how to make a legend bottom layer routing and top layer routing how to add a drill chart and how to generate chairbirds like various uh, various files like solder mask top solder mask bottom and finally how to design this board okay <coughs> so uh, so these are the things which we are going to cover up uh, on the next um, uh, 10 days okay i hope you have a great learning uh, before we go into the session in detail i'll give a short introduction about uh, about me and about Pantac for just two minutes of time and then we can go for the session. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> just, uh, Jasman Sohu is asking like which software are we going to use? We are going to use Cadence. There are a lot of softwares available in the market like you have uh, Mental Graphics software, Pads uh, and you have Altium Designer. So Cadence is also widely used on companies. So oh, we are going to use uh, Cadence 17.2 version, uh, two version, like uh, we are going to capture this for schematics and Alligro for PCB layout, okay. So Pantech was started in 2004, like we basically manufacture microcontroller boards, uh, DSP boards and FPGA boards. We do also manufacture a lot of trainer kits for uh, electronics as well as for electrical engineering. If you want to know more about our products and services, just log on to our website, PantechSolutions.net. Okay, our vision is to help 10 million students to learn the technology in an easy way. Uh, so far, we have trained 2 lakh plus students on YouTube, and we have a lot of upcoming programs. We have programs on MATLAB for 30 days, and uh, so please do connect on our channels for getting the updates. Okay, sometimes we may get a mail or not. So if you connected on YouTube, like we have a community, uh, like where we. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, where we display all type of courses okay so you could get the updates of the latest course about me my name is mk jivarajan if you want to connect me on linkedin uh, you could connect me uh, uh, you send me a connection request i am happy to connect and happy to help okay okay so coming to the announcement attendance link i will be available at 9 pm so for we have two kinds of certificates okay so one or the persons who are attending the 30 days must class for them 25 days attendance is mandatory okay 25 days attendance is mandatory for getting the 30 days certificate those who are attending only the pcb design master class will get a 10 days pcb workshop certificate free certificate uh, that for that all the 10 days are essential okay all the 10 days you have to attend and this attendance link will be valid just only one hour after the session after that we will close it okay for those who attend both like uh, both the 30 days as well as on the pcb workshop you will be getting two certificates okay one on the 30 day certificate another on the pcb workshop is that clear just type clear in the chat box is that clear for the certificate for the certificate uh, those who are attending all the 30 days for you the minimum attendance required to get a free certificate is 25 days if you attend both like 10 days pcb design workshop and you have attendance on 25 days for the 30 days you will be getting two certificates okay one is the pcb design workshop certificate and another is the mrs design certificate for 30 days okay for those who are attending only the pcb design workshop you will you have to attend all the 10 days you have to attend all the 10 days you will get only pcb design workshop certificate okay for internship candidates no need to fill the attendance form all you have to do is after watching the video on the portal you just give complete and continue so that will generate the certificate okay once you complete the course that will generate the certificate Okay, is that clear? Thank you, Kalpesh. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, Yokesh. Hitesh Parmar. Thank you, Rajesh. Thank you, Jagdar Singh. Thank you, uh, uh, Matho Karthik. Yes, thank you, uh, Shaik. Thank you, Ashwin. Thank you, okay, Priyanka. Thank you, okay. So, let's start the day with the mindset lesson, okay. So, today, mindset lesson is about consistency, okay. Consistency is the key for success. 
never ever give up for simple things okay uh, for example you want to wake up early in the morning if you have the habit of snoozing the alarm okay snoozing the alarm you are giving uh, like indirectly to the brain instruction to the brain that you are not the uh, you are not the type of guy who is consistent okay you will give up easily okay this simple activity this simple activity of snoozing the button snooze snoozing the alarm button you are telling the brain you are telling the you are giving instruction to the brain that you are not the guy who is consistent and who will give up easily okay so uh, if, like be persistent on what you believe okay and the thing is like if when you wake up just clean the bed first okay by cleaning the bed daily on consistent basis you are giving instruction to the brain that you have completed the first task ta first task of the day successfully okay so that you will go for the next task next task so that by accomplishing the simple task so whenever you get a big task you will do it okay so if you give for simple things give up for simple things definitely you will also give up for the big things okay so never ever give up for even for simple things be consistent consistency is the key for success practice consistency by doing simple things consistently okay so clean up the bed daily so never never snooze the alarm whenever when, whenever if you want to wake up at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock never ever snooze the alarm so you are giving the brain without knowing you you are telling your subconscious mind that you are not the, that kind of guy who, who is consistent and who who will persist okay so this is the lesson which i like to share you today uh, let's go for the session okay so if you are ready to learn just type rtl in the chat box rtl in the chat box if you are ready to learn just type rtl in the chat box uh, i will go i will go through your chat box for every 5 minutes if you are not very clear uh, just type uh, repeat in the chat box if you are clear just type clear in the chat box i'll go with the majority okay for every 5 for 5 minutes i'll be asking you whether it is clear or repeat if you want me to repeat i will repeat if it is clear just type clear in the chat box okay thank you prasanna thank you shri vishnu thank you darshan thank you shashwat thank you gopal thank you uh it's a live session okay uh vikram thank you divyansh thank you abhishek thank you raj thank you vidya sahar kishor pankaj shivam raj rupa thank you shida thank you yokesh thank you joshita thank you tahir omar thank you saktivel thank you okay leo thank you okay so what is a printed circuit board so if if you don't have a printed circuit board your connection looks like this okay so printed circuit boards or the boards which gives the mechanical supports for the electronic components as well as it electrically connects all the electronic components even if you have a complex electrical circuit you could do it very easily okay that's a advantage of printed circuit board uh, like uh, which which gives mechanical strength as well as which connects the electrical which provides the electrical connectivity to the electrical components okay so the left hand side is the is is a thing like if you connect without uh, without doing a pcb layout pcb uh, printed circuit boards if you wired it will be it looks like this so when you go for a printed circuit boards uh, even a very complex circuits can make it simple okay so what are the types of pcb you have single layer pcb uh, double layer pcb multi layer pcbs okay single layer pcb uh, you have uh, you have the routing only on the one side of the layer double layer you have the routing on both sides of the layer both sides of the uh, pcb both top layer as well as on the bottom layer okay so multi layer if you have routing in between like so that is multi layer so like multi layers are available as four four layer board six layer board eight layer board 10 layer board and 12 layer board uh, like there is no three layer board and five layer boards or, or seven layer boards i exactly i don't know the reason uh, but uh, it will be a multi layer pcb will be available available as four layer it starts from four layer board six layer board eight layer board 10 layers uh, 24 layers okay 12 layers like that flex you have rigid pcbs and flexible pcbs rigid pcbs are very strong whereas flexible pcb you could it is very flexible okay which which could be used for keyboard kind of thing and high frequency pcb uh, is used specially for high speed designs as well as for transceivers or of transceivers okay so that's for high frequency pcb and aluminum packed pcb specially for led lighting where it can withstand large heat okay large power dissipation even if the circuit is provided is is, is uh, dissipating more heat it could withstand 
uh, so that is aluminum packed PCBs okay so the types of PCB you have single layer routing on only one on, on only one side of the board double layer both sides both top layer and bottom layer and multi layer you have layers in between okay in between the top and the bottom layer you have multiple layers in between rigid strong flexible PCB which is used like a keyboard kind of membrane keypads or flexible PCBs okay one example for flexible PCBs or membrane keypads and high frequency PCB especially for high speed designs and for RF transceivers okay high speed analog ADCs and DACs high speed memories and um, for especially for uh, RF transceivers and aluminum packed PCBs for LED lighting which could withstand more heat Okay, more power dissipation and for polytronics applications you could use aluminum packed pcbs is that clear just type clear in the chat box is that clear just type clear in the chat box types of <coughs> this types of pcb is clear just type clear in the chat box i'm waiting for the chat i'll go for the next slide sunil chaban thank you i'm waiting for a chat there will be a delay in youtube like it will take like 20 seconds to reach me Okay, thank you, thank you, Kaula, thank you, uh, uh, Shahida, thank you, Divyansh, thank you, okay, okay, Durga Prashad, thank you, Kishore, thank you, uh, Pankaj, thank you, so I'll go with the majority, let's go for the next slide. So, coming to the PCB layers, okay, so PCB layers, you have the substrate or the core layer, okay, so that 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 core is, is FR4, that gives you the strength to the PCB, the substrate layer produce, uh, gives the strength to the PCB. Uh, this or it acts as a dial trick okay and the copper layer the copper layer uh, is where you route the pcbs okay you have copper layer after the copper layer you have solder mask layer the solder mask layer is green color green color or red color pcb or blue color these are the paint which provides insulation okay or avoids oxidation on the copper layer okay the purpose of the solder mask layer is is to avoid uh, like uh, like if you to avoid any contact with the metals okay for short circuit kind of thing and also it avoids like uh, oxidation process like it it it, it provides uh, so do it avoids rusting on the copper layer the silk screen layer is 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 the layer it's which is white in color like which gives you more information for the humans okay which prints the components like the reference designators and uh, the value of the components okay so that is the silk screen layer. it, it will be in white in color so there are only four pcb layers the substrate layer okay so that is the core there are different types of core available fr4 is the most widely used core you have other cores like uh, uh, fr4 like uh, flux aluminium aluminium core is there flexible like uh, there are a lot of cores okay so aluminium rogers hda so these are the type of material for the substrate layer okay uh, so copper layer uh, is a place like where you route the is a, that's a copper layer is a place where you etch the copper and and produce a track okay solder mask layer is a paint which is insulation paint which uh, which is on the top of the copper layer uh, which avoids the contact with any other metal to pro to avoid short circuits or to avoid the oxidation like to prevent rusting of the copper silk screen layer okay silk screen layer uh, it gives you much more information for the humans okay so if you take the multi-layer multi-layer pcbs okay so top layer three plug is the insulation okay and internal ground plane and the core is the fr4 material and the internal power plane so this will be the vcc this will be the ground and top layer and the bottom layer or the uh, you will be having the routing Okay, you will be having the nets like the address bus or data bus or it may be the general GPIOs. Okay, so the nets will be on the top layer and the bottom layer. So the VCC and the ground will be on the in between. So this is the four layer process. For six layer board, you will have the top layer routing, internal ground plane routing, internal routing layer. Especially if you use a DDR SD RAM, so the memories will be on the internal routing layer. Okay, the BGA, especially if you, when you, whenever you use a BGA based ICs and the um, DDR SD RAM. So they will use uh, DDR SDRAM, the address bus and data bus will be on the internal routing layer. The other signals, they will be using the top layer and the bottom layer. Okay, internal routing layer, pre plug again it's a core, which, which gives strength to the PCB, uh, also acts as a dielectric and core, internal power plane and bottom layer. Okay, so these are the multi-layer PCBs. So internal, 
internal structure of the multilayer PCBs. Pre-plug is used for insulation. Okay, pre-plug acts as an insulation material between the top layer and the internal ground plane. Core acts as a gives strength. It also acts as an insulation and gives strength and acts as a dielectric to the PCBs. Okay. Okay. So coming to the characteristics of PCBs, you have through hole technology like where you will be having a lead which will be inserted through a wire okay through uh, through a hole through a plated hole and you will be soldering this this kind of technology is called through hole technology and surface mount if you place the components on the top of the pcb top side of the pcb without making a drill then it is a surface mount technology okay a circuit properties apart from this you have materials like ff4 uh, flexible material aluminium material rhs stands for uh, reduce uh, reduction of hazardous substances okay so uh, the UK and the US and the European Union, they uh, they use only the lead-free PCBs. Uh, so, uh, which is uh, lead is a hazardous, hazardous substance which is present on the uh, most of the PCBs. So, you could also purchase lead-free PCBs which will be very costly at this. Okay? So, RHS compared PCB and the copper thickness. So, these are the characteristics of PCB. This the multi-layer PCB, PCB layers, the multi-layer PCBs and the characteristics of PCB. Is that clear? Just type here in the chat box. Okay, so if it is not clear, uh, repeat, just uh, repeat in the chat box, I will go with the majority. So, is that clear? Is that clear? I am waiting for a chat. Is that clear? Just type clear in the chat box. If it is not clear, just type repeat in the chat box. How to decide? So much uh, Saturvati is asking how to decide the layer stack. Okay, uh, layer stack like there are a lot of calculators is available. Even DigiKey is having a calculator for for calculating the impedance and for stack up. Okay, uh, for st uh, for calculating the stack uh, for calculating the stack up, you could use the, use those calculators. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Okay, so we have one or two more repeats. Let me. Okay, so I'll go with the majority. So please, if only one or two more repeats is there, so please go through this video. The video will be available for three more days. Okay. So coming to the selection of packages. Okay, you should be aware of the packages. These things already we have caught up on the uh, day one session of embedded system design. Like there are a lot of package like dual in line package, quad fat package, and small outline integrated circuits, SOIC, uh, plastic lead chip carrier, ball grid array. Okay, so these are the different types of packages. Even in uh, the passive components like uh, the resistor capacitors, like the size you have 0805, 0603, 0 Okay, so there are different size of SMD devices. You should be aware of the packages. You could collect the data sheets from a site called digikey.in. Okay, so digikey.in, or uh, or uh, you could collect from. I'll show you the site. Give me a moment. Okay, so you could use the site called digikey.in. Uh, for collecting the data sheets to check whether the part number to check the part number to collect the data sheets to check the part number the package and everything okay uh, so you could use this uh, site digikey or mouser or element 14 so any three any uh, uh, mouser dot in or digikey dot in or uh, element 14 okay you could use this site for example if i want to search for 8051 i search for 8051 here okay so oh, on the embedded microcontrollers I have, uh, I have the series package type, uh, okay, so the speed and everything, okay, so this is the package like uh, surface mount and through hole, so these are the supply device package like uh, quad frat package, tip package, okay, SYC package, so you could use this site for, uh, for collecting the data sheets, okay, so and to know about different types of packages. Uh, the size of, for example, for resistor, if you want to purchase, so DigiKey, you could also purchase and you could also collect the documents. Okay, selection of packages and coming to the PCB design specification, like uh, I'll show you a site called PCBWay.com, PCB like if where you could order PCBs, like 
when you choose this specification like when you order a pcb specification like they have the board type single piece or panel by customer panel by customer or panel by pcb way or whatever com company even if you choose the other companies uh, they will give uh, they will also do the panels for you okay so board type single piece means like you design one board that is single piece okay if you want to make a uh, thousand boards so uh, they will make it as a panel you make it as a panel like every uh, like uh, a single pcb will contains 10 boards okay i will i will show you one example for panel pcbs okay it look like, it look like this okay so this is panel okay so you arrange 10 boards and later you broke this boards okay so this is panel panel by customer you give the panel so pcb way will make the panel for you so that is panel by pc board type different pan designs in panel like one how many panels you have how many boards you have one board two board three board four or five six or like that single size the size of the pcb quantity okay layers one layer single layer two layers four layers six layers eight layers ten layers twelve layers and fourteen layers okay material what material you want like fr4 material or aluminum the core material the aluminum material rogers rogers and hd are generally used for high speed designs when you choose this uh, this material the cost will go high okay by default they have choose the material but they choose the uh, by default they have choose an option if you go with that default option the cost will be less okay uh, but if you choose for purposely if you have if you want if you're making high speed design board or if you want if you're making a led uh, board for led lighting kind of thing then you have to choose the aluminum board fr4 material will not work uh, because it will dissipate uh, led will dis dissipate more heat so uh, eventually like it will cause problem okay so you have to choose for this and uh, thickness of the copper layer ozone thickness okay track spacing uh, min track in it is in mills actually mill standards mills or you you have mills millimeters and inches so thickness min track spacing okay minimum track minimum hole size drill size minimum drill size 0.3 mm or 0.8 mm drill size okay for wires and for uh, and for the uh, pins solder mask whether you need green color red color or yellow or blue or uh, white or black okay and uh, silk screen is white color or black. silk screen only two colors is available white and black and edge connector surface finish is lead free or leaded okay and wire process tinting wires and finished copper so uh terminologies okay uh, so what is what so you could use this site for ordering the pcb uh but you should be aware of like uh, what is that what are the materials what is the thickness level okay and uh, you just you use this pcb you go for pcbway.com change this thing and you could check out the price okay so pcb select specification selection and pcb trace with calculator you get it from you could uh, get get it from uh, the uh, digikey dot in okay for trace with calculator and for stack up like uh, you have to provide the stack up i'll show you one uh, thing give me a moment So I'll show you what is stack up for PCB uh, uh, from a Jetson Nano board. Okay, so I just open the schematics of a Jetson Nano board. Okay, PCB stack up. Okay, so when 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 you uh, have uh, uh, when you route a multi-layer board, okay, you have to provide the impedance as well as the stack up, like uh, the solder mask the solder mask thickness okay and the copper copper thickness of the top layer fr4 material pre plug copper for the internal layers what is the thickness okay and for the fr4 material and the so it's a um it's the total the layers are like um it's a four layer board okay this jetson nano is a four layer it's a four layer board it's a four layer board so top layer bottom layer and plain layers so this is a stack up uh, for the the lot of stack up calculators available but if you go through multiple stack up from like this is the stack up impedance for the uh, 
for Jetson Nano. Okay, I will also explain the schematics how schematics is done on for Jetson Nano uh, once we at the end of the session. Okay. So coming to the manufacturing process, okay, we have subtractive manufacturing. So this is this is the PCB manufacturing process. Uh, you just know what is what because this is not deal with PCB design. When you design PCBs, you know how PCB is manufactured. So you'll get some idea, uh, idea of how things are done and what kind of material you have to choose. And with that context of your application, you could choose a material and you know the actually you know the exact process of how the things are done. Okay, uh, so uh, subtract like um, just give me a moment. Okay, so subtractive process, additive process, and semi-additive process. Subtractive process means you just etch the copper out of the copper clad boards. That is subtractive process. Additive process, you add the layers like you could print the copper layers. That's a, uh, additive process. Like subtractive CNC using CNC milling is a subtractive process. Okay, additive, it's like just like printing the copper. Okay, printing the copper on the uh, on the on the core material, for for core material. So that is additive process. So mostly, most widely used was semi-additive process. They use the uh, uh, they use the add, uh, additive as well as the subtractive process. Okay, so semi-additive is both subtractive as well as additive. So the most widely used manufacturing technique is semi-additive process. Okay, so is that clear till this point? Is that clear till this point? Just type clear in the chat box. Is that clear till this point? Just type clear in the chat box. So the thickness of the copper plate using for PCB design will vary. This answer is for Leo. Okay, uh, what is the thickness of the copper plate using for PCB design? For if you if you are using a two layer board for a generic board, okay, you just go by the default. I'll show you. you just you just go by the default settings. Okay, you just go by the default settings. So, uh, if you have uh, high, like if, if you have like if more power is going on, going through the uh, board, or if you're designing a polytronics kind of application, then you have to work. Otherwise, the trace will go off. Okay, so you have to work. It depends upon the con application, like what kind of application. If it's if you're if you're uh, if your product is battery operated, or if you're operate operated below five volt, then uh, like the basic settings, the basic settings of this uh, of of this uh, calculator will work. Okay, is that clear? Just a clear in the chat box. Uh, thank you, Raj Kumar. Thank you, Durga Prasad. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you, uh, Geeta Nilishan. Thank you, Lakshmi. Uh, Rina. Thank you, Monu. Thank you, Repak. Thank you. Okay. So uh, single layer PCB like. Uh, I just explained the process of how PCB fabrication is done. You will be having a copper clad board. Okay, you have to transfer the PCB layout design to the copper clad board by either through or by screen printing or through like any like any carbon paper kind of thing and you paint it. Okay, once once you transfer the PCB uh, layout to the copper clad board, then you dip into the ferric chloride and just tilt it. The copper will get away, will remove, will remove from the place where uh, there is no paint. Okay, so th that's pro that process is called etching. Okay, so this is how a simple PCB is done. You could also do by you could also use a CNC machine to uh, to remove to etch the copper. So that is one the another way. There are a lot of different ways of that for manufacturing a simple PCBs. Okay, whereas for multi layer process, it's a big process. I'm not going to much more detail into the multi layer manufacturing process, but there are a lot of videos available on YouTube. You, you please go through at least once how a multi layer manufacturing process is done. Okay, they start with the design, print the design on the uh, 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 on the flints. Okay, and create they create the substrate, printing the inner layers, uh, pass through ultraviolet light, remove remove the unwanted copper, inspection, laminating the layer, pressing the layers, drilling, plating, outer layer imaging, plating and etching, and solder mask application, silk screen, surface finish, and testing. Okay. So it is a 18 step process. Uh, this it's a very it, it's a very detailed process. Please go through uh, any YouTube video so that it will give you just get an idea of how a multi layer manufacturing process works. Okay. So coming to the key steps in PCB design process. Okay. The first thing is to draw the schematics. Okay. Draw the schematics. 
Then the second thing is true for all the components in the schematic. Schematic will have only symbols. Okay, symbols and you will be creating the libraries, uh, schematic library, and you will be connecting the uh, connecting the electronic components on the schematics. Uh, so finally, the schematic, the output of the schematic will be a netlist. Okay, so once you uh, once you create the uh, once you draw the schematics, you create the PCB footprints for each and every component for resistors, capacitors, for uh, IC integrated circuits, for diode, and everything. You create a footprint. Third, you have to link the footprint with the schematic library. Okay, and check for DRC for uh, DRC error. Okay. And uh, design rules check error and generate netlist. Netlist, I will tell you what is DRC netlist in the upcoming slides. And place the components. Okay, place the components on the board. Uh, place the draw outline of the board and uh, set the routing constraints. Okay, uh, the trace with uh, the mini, uh, width of the track and everything. And route the board. Arrange the text. Okay, arrange the silk screen like uh, uh, silk screen top and the assembly top. Arrange the text. Reference designator, everything. Finally, create the layers and create the jobbers. Create a drill chart, generate up, create a bill of material. Okay, I will I will explain you what is bill of material, what is netlist, what is DRs in the upcoming slides. So this is the this is these are the key steps in PCB design process. Okay, so uh, is that clear? Just type clear in the chat box. Is that clear? Is PCB design process is clear. Uh, is that clear? Is that clear? Just type clear in the chat box. How to pass from circuit with Arduino to circuit with Arduino? Okay. Is that clear? Thank you, Shishil. Thank you, Shashwat. Thank you, uh, Ripal. Ripal Shukla. Thank you, Shubhas. Thank you, Vidya Sagar. Thank you, Durga Prashad. Sushil Singh. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Ajit. Thank you. Okay. So. So tools, there are a lot of tools available for PCB design. Like you have, uh, so we are going to cover up the ARCAD CAPTCHAs and Allegro. Okay, and uh, you have LTM uh, CAPTCHAs is, is uh, ARCAD and Al CADANCE is a widely used uh, tool in the market. A lot of companies are using LTM is also widely used and Mentor Graphics is also widely used. Okay, but there are some free ones is all there like Eagle, EC, uh, EZ, uh, There are a lot of free open source uh, PCB software is there. But I recommend you to learn uh, Cadence, Altium, and or Mentor Graphics Pads. Any any one any of these three, okay? Uh, because these are the widely used of the companies. So which we where you could do complex uh, routing on this uh, on this Cadence, okay? So uh, coming to the PCB terminologies, it's let, let me start with pads, okay? So pads, uh, so so pads. So these are the pads. Like if you take a PCB, uh, you have the component. You ha you have the um, uh, these are the surface mount pads, okay? And these are the through hole pads, okay? Where where you will be soldering the uh, lead or soldering the pin of the IC. Okay, so that is called pad, which will have conductivity, okay? So. Uh, it's a copper area. Pads is a copper area. Like it, it, it the size. It may be or sometimes it may be on circle. Sometimes it may be on rectangle, or sometimes it may be on square, oblong. Okay, so th there are different types of pads. So uh, pads you could for creating pads you could use a software called Pad Stack Editor on the cadence. Okay, so pads uh, or the copper area where you will be uh, soldering the pins of the IC. It may be through hole, it may contain the hole or it may have a surface mount. So, so this is an example of surface mount. Surface mount, this is through hole, okay. This is through hole, this is the slot, okay, uh, slot. So, so these are pads, okay. The next is PCB stencil, okay. So whenever, whenever you manufacture a PCB, uh, whenever like you also, you, you, you also need to create a paste layer. So there are several layers on the printer circuit boards. Like you have solder mask layer, silk screen layer, paste layer. So the, by using the paste layer, they will create a stencil. So stencil is widely used for automated soldering, for pick and for soldering through pick and place machines, where they will be keeping the board and they will apply the solder paste. Okay. So solder paste. So that they will be uh, using this for assembling the board, assembling the board through automated through automated machines like. 
pick and place machines or uh, wave soldering kind of thing okay so pcb stencil so uh, pads and pcb stencil so coming to the pad stack and pad geometry so if you if you check the you have the pad it may be a through hole pin smd pin uh, like circle square oblong rectangle rounded rectangle okay octagon donut these are the different types of pads we have through uh, through hole pin smd pin wires okay micro wire slot mechanical hole tooling hole mounting hole fiducials and bond finger these are the different types of pad stack and pad geometry okay so uh, is that clear is pads is clear is pads is clear okay so wire wire is like uh, is is a hole which connects the top layer and the bottom layer you have through plated wire as well as non plated wire okay so uh, plated wire will have the connective, connective uh, will have the copper okay so it have the connection between the top layer to the bottom layer so that is a wire you also have blind wires the top layer wire is connected to the internal layer not to the bottom layer so that is a blind wire or the bottom layer is connected to the internal layer so that is a blind wire buried wire uh, it will connect only the internal layers not the top layer and the bottom layer so that is a buried wire okay so we have tented and plugged so tented and plugged are not most the mostly widely used was the through hole plated not plated blind wires and the buried wires okay so these are rarely used one the tented uh, wires and the uh, plugged wires are the rarely used one okay so uh so i just repeat okay so uh, nitin nitin is asking for repeat nitin marathi is asking for repeat okay ash pandey is asking to go slow okay okay so uh you have to start you have to whenever you create a footprint the footprint starts from pads okay uh so th these are the if you take a printer circuit boards these are the uh, these are the copper these these copper uh, components or the this copper pad components are called the pads okay where you will be soldering the component okay uh, the pin it may be pin it may have a drill or it may not have a drill okay for surface mount there is no drill for through hole you will have a drill on the pad so that it connects at the bottom of the bottom so that may be the plotted the you that that is plated drill and non plated okay plated means it will have kind connectivity it will have connectivity connectivity okay and uh, these are the slots okay so it start with slots so every data sheet will have the details about the pads the uh, for example you take a 8 pin soic package this is a 8 pin soic package so it will give you the pad size the exact pad size the distance between these two things the distance between the entire distance between this one okay so the complete size every informations will be there in the data sheets you have to go through the data sheet and you have to create the pcb footprints okay so pcb stencil uh, so the in when when you create pads you will also create the paste layers okay so the pcb footprint has multiple layers like it has uh, the pads and it has the uh, it, it it has various layer like uh, assembly top uh, assembly bottom silk screen top silk screen bottom uh, place bound top okay dfa bound top and reference designator so there are a lot of uh, things which we will be covering up later okay so uh, all the paste mask top and paste mask bottom so everything will be there in the pcb footprint so if especially if it is a surface mounted devices then you have a paste layer this paste layer is used for creating pcb stencils okay so this is a pcb stencil which is a steel mesh like where they will place it on a pcb and they will apply the solder paste so okay once they apply the solder paste then they will be placing the components and they will solder this is for automated soldering for pick and place machines okay pcb stencil so so if when, whenever you have a bga board bga kind of ic or a smd kind of ic very small very small footprints then it's better to use it, it can be done only through pcb stencils soldering can be done only through pcb stencils okay and pad stack and pad geometry these are the different pad stack okay these are the pad geometry like uh, you have a through hole pin through hole pin means like uh, the top layer will be connected to the bottom layer you will have a drill in between okay so you will be inserting the lead via this the hole so that is the through hole pin 
assembly pin is surface mount device on the top of the PCB layer. On that, you have circle type, circle type pad, square type pad, oblong pad, rectangle pad, rounded rectangle pad, octagon pad. Okay, these are the different types of pad, pad geometry. Okay, so wire, wire is nothing but like whenever you take a PCBs, like there will be a small drill which is used for uh, the whenever you whenever you uh, whenever the top layer uh, track has to want to connect with the bottom layer track, they use the wire. Okay. So the wire may be plated wire or the non-plated wire. Plated wire will have conductivity. So the, the it will go to the bottom layer and you could route, route from the bottom layer. Okay, so that is a called wire. You have blind wires which has which the top layer will be connected to the internal layer, not to the bottom layer. So that, that, that is blind wire. Blind wire, only the inter, internal layer signals are connected with the internal layers. So that, that is the buried wire. Okay. So plated is non-plated hole. So this is the plated hole which, which has the copper. Non-plated holes will not have a copper. Okay. Fiducials, uh, these, these are the fiducials. Like uh, these are pads actually. But fiducials are meant for the pick and place machines. You have to place fiducials such a way the pick and place machines will, will, will connect the board on, only on this fiducials. Okay. For, for mounting the component, which will uh, which will use this fiducials as reference and for mounting the components. Okay, fiducials are small pads which is used for the pick and place machines. Whenever you do an automated soldering, if you do not do automated soldering, no need of fiducials. If you want only want to if you want to go for an automated machine, automated soldering, then you need fiducials. Okay, especially if it is a BGA kind of thing, BGA ball grinder array IC, or to place the IC. You know, uh, on correct to correctly on that uh, part okay you need this food shields okay soic stands for small outline integrated circuits nitin nitin marathi uh, soic stands for small outline integrated circuits okay so slot uh, there is a difference between drill and the slot okay drill is it's just a hole okay circular hole but a slot so slot looks like this where you have to use a cutting machine okay it cannot be drilled you have to use a cutting machine to form the hole so that that's all both are holes. Slot you need a cutting machine, whereas for drill you, you could drill, you could drill by using a drilling machine. Okay, so that's a slot. Even slot you have plated slot, non-plated slots. Plated slots you have the you have the copper on it. Okay, which will which will have conductivity. So okay, okay. What is mean of pad? Karan Shinde is asking what is mean of pad? See actually, if you take any PCBs, I'll show it on Google. Give me a moment. I'll show it on Google. Okay, so uh, the pad is, this is a pad, okay, okay. the drill which contains uh, the circular drill is a pad, which contains the copper, which contains the copper where it could mount the resistors or capacitors or any pin, okay, this is a drill, okay, drill, it means it's a pad actually, pad with a drill, okay, circular pads, this is through hole, all these are through hole components, through hole components, it will, you will have a lead where you will pass the lead to the PCB, printed circuit boards, okay. These are our surface mount device. Okay, these are the these the these pins are the pad. Okay, so these are the pads. These are the pads. The copper, the copper part, which where you will be soldering the IC integrated circuit pins, is the pad. Okay. So bond finger, okay. So what is bond finger? These are again, it's a pad, uh, which is which is connected to the wires like this. A bond finger looks looks like this. You could see see that on a RAM, okay. Uh, uh, on if you if you take a computer RAMs, you could see these bond fingers. This type of this type of uh, pads are called bond fingers, okay. And 
mounting hole is used to like whenever you have a pcb if you want to mount a pcb on the uh, on a package or uh, or the enclosures for for to to uh, to insert a screw those holes are called mounting hole or tooling hole okay so these are tooling holes sometimes it may be plated sometimes it will not be plated okay it depends upon the uh, pcb designer some people they have plated mounting holes some they will not have any pattern uh, they will have only non plated uh, mounting holes tooling holes okay so silk screen uh, this white color paint is called silk screen okay so this will give you the outline outline of the uh, outline of the uh, component it also tells you what what uh, part you have to solder point one microfarad it means like you have to solder a point one microfarad electrolytic capa uh, point one microfarad capacitor here okay so this is formed by by screen printing process okay that once the pcb manufacturing is done they uh, they apply the they take a film of the silk screen and they apply the uh, print screen through a white, a white color paint okay so they apply through screen printing process polarity which is used to identify test points and polarity of the ic first pin of the ic so this 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 white color dot tells that this is the first pin of the ic okay for first pin they have used square pad the rest of the thing they have used round pad okay so to indicate which pin to indicate which pin is the first pin else the the guy who is assembling will uh, will rotate the ic and he will solder on this way okay if you don't have the silk screen so the the guy don't know like a person who is soldering uh, will will never know like which is the first pin and where where they have to place the piece so uh, in order to in order to give a clear information to the humans so they will have a dot to indicate it's a first pin apart from this they also use a square pad for the first pin okay the rest of the pads will be round pad okay so this is called silk screen okay uh use of a slot uh see uh akash shetty is using use for use of a slot see uh if you take a dc power jack okay uh you take a dc power jack i'll show you the uh dc power jack okay some Okay. so this for this you need a slot for for this connector okay for this connectors you to to put it on a pcb to put to in this you cannot have a drill for for this if you check out if you check out the uh, if you check out the uh, process here like okay so this is a dc power jack here like we have a dc power jack here Uh, which will have the slot here okay if you check this top layer routing we have the slot here it's not a drill we have a we have a slot for mounting this dc power jack this answer is for uh, uh, slot uh, for akash city smt surface mount aish smt means a surface mount device uh, okay surface mount uh, technology okay so okay solder mask again solder mask is a green color ink okay so uh, you could use for preventing for uh, like uh, for from oxidation from oxidation or for dust okay as well as for the uh, uh, to prevent from oxidation process and for preventing the shorts Okay, so that's the solder mask. It, it it will be in green color, green color PCB, red color PCB, or blue color PCB. Okay. The other technology is the annular ring. Okay, annular ring is like uh, again again it's a drill uh, which has the copper which has the copper around the drill. So that is called an annular ring. So these are the terminologies which you should know when you do a PCB design. Okay, what is annular ring? and uh, what is uh, salt oh, oh, sorry what is pad what is solder mask uh, what is silk screen and what is mounting hole what is bond finger what is slot what is food shields what is plated and non plated holes these are the terminologies which you should know before doing a pcb design okay and what is bill of material okay so the bill of material is a play, is a, is, a, is an it, you will get a bill of material from the schematics it's an excel sheet which gives you more information about the components like the part number uh, manufacturer part number the pin details and the package type of package used and everything 
from the build of material because in most of the companies the schematic designer will be different will be a separate guy and the pcb designer will be a separate guy okay the schematic designer uh, the the role of the schematic designer has to provide a right build of material okay so that because these don't the most are mostly like they will outsource to the pcb designer um, they will have never conversation with them so they he have to provide all the information uh, which is which will be there in the bill of material so uh, the pcb layout designer on going through the bill of material uh, they will be they will know uh, what kind of what is the part number uh, what is the footprint he has to place okay because for every part number if you take 82 ic it will be in dip package you also have plcc package you also have uh, uh, plc uh, tqp quad flat package there are a lot of package available for the same ic so only the schematic designer should tell the pcb guy like you have to use this part number okay so that will that thing will be on the bill of materials i'll show you one example one bill of material file okay so uh, i'll show you the bill of material for the pantac which what we use and one bill of, and the bill of material from n media like jetson nano like uh, how it looks okay so we have the reference designate designator here i will explain you what is reference designator and the name of the component okay this parent item code and child item code is is for intel for erp purpose and the manufacturing part number manufacturing part number okay if it is a local part number we don't have the manufacturing part number if the part number has to be imported from us then we, we will have to mention the manufacturer part number but it's better to because for even for for resistors no need of manufacturer part number which 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 could be purchased from the local local shops okay so we we have no but we have no we, our our bill of material does not contain the manufacturer part number which is purchased locally uh, but gender but by but generically you have to give the manufacturer part number okay and the description and quantity how many quantity you have used on the product okay and what is the package what is the pin per component like two pins 0805 package led 1206 so this is a bill of material okay bill of material which will be generated from the uh, cadence itself from the uh, schematic itself i'll show you uh, the bill of material for jetson nano okay jetson nano let's check give me a moment so this is the schematic of jetson nano okay so i'll show you the okay Let's open an Excel sheet. Okay, so I was not able to open it on the Excel sheet. Edit. Okay. so uh, i'll show you later like so the bill of material looks like this okay so you have the 
item for reference designator a uh, name of the component okay and then you have the manufacturer part number quantity description package and pin per component and salary points okay uh, so this okay then reference designator so if you take any pcbs like uh, any pcb designs uh, any pcb designs like you check for any pcbs okay Okay, so this is called reference designator like R3, R4, C4, uh, C4, okay, like C3, like R4, uh, like, like R41, like R407, like, it means from the bill of material, they will get this value, okay, so, so, like, if you check the reference designator here, okay, this is the reference designator, like R4, R2, R2 is 10k, okay, so, uh, they will not have 10k on the pcb when they will have only the reference designator on going through the reference designator you have to populate the right component on the pcb so reference designator is used for indication okay which tells you what component you have to solder on that part so that is reference designator and um, drc drc is design rules check a software will tell you like it, it tells the error like the if you have any trace error or if you have any pad error or if you have any placement error or drill errors or so that is drc okay design rules check what is drc a netlist it has the it, it will give you the electrical connections between the components okay only the netlist has to be imported to the pcb and you once you uh, and you will be importing the uh, pcb footprints so it the netlist provides the connection details of the pcb footprints so drill head and drill chart is that clear is that clear till this point is that clear till this point just type clear in the chat box so drill head or drill chart is for like which gives you like what drill at what place you have to use okay because drill chart only the drill chart uh, drill file will give you the drill details of the slots because you will be having a lot of drills on the pcbs on various sizes so the drill chart will or drill file will give you the information like what drill size you have to use at what place you want to use. So that is drill. Uh, thank you, Armukham. Thank you, Armukham. Thank you, Shishwan. Thank you, uh, Arjit. Thank you, Saurabh Deep Das. Thank you, Bashkar Yadav. Thank you, Vashan. Thank you, Tahir Umar. Thank you. Okay. And uh, Lalit Rohila. Thank you. Okay. So what is mouse bytes? Okay. So mouse bytes, this place is called mouse byte. Okay. Where you could break it easily where you could break the PCBs easily. So that is called most the weak spot. But still it is connected to connected to the uh, other other part where you could break it easily. So that is called mouse bytes. Okay. So panel, so panel is connected via mouse bytes. Okay. So that you could break it easily. So this type. This type is called mouse bytes. Okay. Uh, where, you, where you could break it easily. The weaker area uh, where you could break it easily so panels are made by using mouse bytes okay so panel is nothing but you 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 lay out one board and you just copy and paste all the one boards to make a 10 boards to make it in a single panel so that is a panel panel contains like you may have two boards or four boards or ten boards that's your uh, your wish okay so layers in jerboard you should have a global layer top layer bottom layer silk screen top silk screen bottom assembly top assembly bottom inner layer and drill layer these are the different types of layers in pcb layers in jobber only the jobber you will be giving for the pcb manufacturer to manufacture the pcbs okay so artwork again to create artwork the purpose of the artwork is to create the jobbers like different layers on the jobbers okay finally uh, you could download the trial version on this link okay uh so you could you could download the rcad uh and so that you, we could practice online so i'll share you the slide through email or through facebook 
you could download this okay so today's assignment like you could go through pcbpower.com uh you could find out you could check for the layers okay you could check for the layers you go for pcbway.com digi.in check for the calculators like pcb trace calculators stack up calculators and uh, resistors called resistor calculator there are a lot of calculators available on this link okay you just check out the resource tab on the digi.in so these are the assignment today uh I have a small announcement like we have a four month online internship program for MLS, which has the embedded system design, IoT design, and the PCB design. Okay, PCB and Arduino, like uh, where we cover up four, four, four to five architectures 85 architecture, PIC architecture, ARM 7, and LPC 408 and Node MCU. On IoT, like we have caught up uh, ThingSpeak, Azure platform, and AWS IoT platform and for 30 days, and for the Arduino must class for 30 days for with various sensors in the space. And finally, we have PCB design masterclass for 12 days session. Okay, so uh, if you are interested, like you may receive an email, so you could sign up for this internship uh, and you could learn all these are recorded videos. You also have the offline sessions, Zoom sessions on Saturdays and Saturdays. Okay, so uh, you, uh, on Sundays also you have classes like the Entrepreneurs Corner. If you wish, you could enroll for the session. So thank you so much for your time. I will take down the questions. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, if uh, I'll uh, I'll take on the questions like uh, thank you Jay Kumar thank you Pradeep thank you uh, Armugam thank you Armugam Viraya thank you uh, uh, Rupa thank you uh, Rajesh thank you uh, Akinola Om Sanya I will go slow tomorrow okay I'll go slow. Uh, Kinola, I'll go slow tomorrow. Tech with Manish, thank you. Avinash, thank you. Reebok, thank you. Uh, uh, yes, I'll uh, Sai Sai Shashank. I'll be sharing the PPT through email. Please check the emails. Okay, Baskar Yadav, thank you. Uh, Reena, thank you. Lalit, thank you. Jagadar Jagadar Singh, thank you. And uh, Amir Omar, thank you. So if you have any questions, uh, just type your questions in the chat box. I'm waiting for your chat. Uh, thank you, Reena. Thank you, Vinod. Thank you, Shritika. Uh, thank you, Vashant. Pankaj, thank you. Chinmay, thank you. Avinash, thank you. Anushya Rani, thank you. Mustak, thank you. Jay Kumar, thank you. Medha Patil, thank you. Akinola Omisanya, thank you. Kishore, thank you. Pradeep, thank you. Arvind, thank you. Gautamar, thank you. Komar, uh, Shashank, Saishan, definitely I'll share you the PPT through email. As a PDF format, okay. Uh, Namrata, thank you. Chinmay, thank you. Pratik Sharma, thank you. Vinay Kumar, Girish Kumar, Robin Hood, thank you. Pascal, sir, please, how to pass from circuit with Arduino? Uh, Pascal, sir, please, how to pass from circuit with Arduino to circuit without Arduino? See, uh, I'm not, I'm not getting your question, but I'll, and I'll try to answer. See, Arduino uh, is an IDE. It is not a circuit or it's not a microcontroller. The microcontroller which was used on Arduino, you know, board is is an ABR microcontroller. Okay, so Arduino is a company uh, which uh, which uh, put, which manufactures the development board, and they have their own IDE where they have a simplified process to download the codes. Like you, like you what you could write it on a single line program, and uh, you could you could uh, you could, uh, you, could uh, you could you could complete your application like even with single lines of code. For getting DHC level sensors, there will be a lot of inbuilt libraries, so no need to worry how the things work. So, but just by calling the libraries, you could uh, you could uh, complete the design within 10 to 15 minutes of time. Okay, uh, so that's what Arduino Arduino ID is about. Arduino the, the Arduino you know has the microcontroller from AVR, uh, AVR microcontroller, Atmel microcontroller, but now it's uh, Atmel has been acquired by Microchip, so. Uh, they use the Apple microcontroller chips. Okay, uh, how pass from circuit with Arduino to circuit without Arduino? I'm not getting your point, Pascal Dor. Arvind Kumar. Arvind Kumar, what is your question? What is Jerber? Shrutika, uh, Jerber is uh, is a film which like it's uh, there will be different layers in Jerber which you will be providing this layer to this like it will be look it look like this actually it's a Jerber. I'll show you the Jerber in just a minute. 
okay this is the one which you give to the manufacturer so okay the manufacturer manufactures uh, based on the jabber so these, these are the layers in jabber solder mask top solder mask bottom drill chart top layer routing uh, top layer routing bottom layer routing so these are the jabbers flims okay these are the flims only based on the flims they will manufacture the pcb okay so these are the jabbers jabbers okay uh pdf what is the portal to get pdf see actually uh, the recorded version is available only for uh, the paid community uh, for the pdf for the for this pdf you will get it through email if you have signed up for this course you will get through email okay you will also share it on the group on the whatsapp group yes you could use uh, nalini durga you could use 17.4 version for practice yes you could use uh, lalit uh, what about attendance had a great time with you sir. Akash Shetty, thank you, thank you so much Akash, thank you. How to take care of EMI EMC while designing PCB? Okay, uh, Nitin Marathi, how to take EMI EMC while designing PCB, right? So, uh, see, when you come for EMI, like, uh, you have to identify the source, like, where it will generate, like, for example, you have a USB, uh, it's better to have an inductor cable, USB inductor cable, as well as you could use ferret beads uh, or the inductor core, on the lines especially on the on the differential pair lines uh, so uh, uh, if you have a high speed like you have to high speed boards then like um, uh, uh, everything like EMI is mostly you have to use only the inductors and ferret cores ferret cores to the circuits for the schematics it has to be done okay from the PCB part uh, to reduce the EMI uh, maybe the differential core uh, the differential core a different style of routing uh, on the PCB routing, uh, the address bus and data bus, uh, it, it has to, it, 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 it has a different style. Whereas the other nets, the general nets, general signals, you could lay out on it on it your own way. Uh, when you use especially a DD or SDRAM or a memory, you have to use a serpentile routing like length matching. You have to do length matching kind of thing. Uh, whenever you, uh, whenever you route uh, with a processor with a BGA processor and for a memory, okay and for differential pair you have to take care of the differential pair but to reduce for to get the emi like there are a lot of esd diodes are available emi esd diodes are available which you have to incorporate on the schematics schematic design and there are you could get the design guidelines on the uh, on the ipc standards Uh, Aravind Kumar, like uh, Aravind Kumar, like uh, the free version is uh, is is it's completed. Like um, uh, you have to go for the paid one. Like the the, the next the next ESD ESD will be repeated. Third day session will be repeated after six months or five months of time. How many jabber files we have to give to manufacturers? How many gerber files? See, uh, the gerber files, are like the gerber files, uh, you will have, like, I'll show you the gerber, like, uh, let me check for the any available gerbers are there, let me, you will have, like, six to seven, uh, seven files, like, uh, I'll, this is, this gerber is from, for Jetson Nano, okay. So, these are the art files, okay. They have silk screen top, silk screen bottom, and drill chart is there, mask top, paste mask top and paste mask bottom so this is for creating stencils okay layer one layer two layer three layer four they have top layer and the bottom layer and uh, the internal layers they have okay so this is these are the these are the uh, the nc the nc tools nc drill these are the drill charts okay drill charts so the, all the art files are jabber file so you need a jabber viewer to view this file uh, I don't have a Gerber viewer. Let me check. I have Gerber viewer. I don't have a Gerber viewer, but definitely I will show you. Oh, I, I'm doing the class. I'll show you how to view the Gerber. Okay. Liju, uh, like for commonly used material, you could go with the PCBWay.com. Okay. The default settings is for the commonly used. Okay, uh, Akinola, like definitely, like you, it would be if you you got if if you got email today, 
if you got uh, akinula uh, umisania uh, i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing your wrong name uh, like if you got the email today definitely you will get the email tomorrow for the pdf also ppt also ppt on pdf format okay any codes on rf uh, saurabh deep does no we don't have we, we don't have plans for rf as of now collection of files who gives the idea to manufacture how to design circuit uh, nitin like tomorrow class will be we'll be discussing of how to design the circuits okay how to design the schematics for the 8020 board uh, that we'll be discussing tomorrow collection of which uh, which who gives the idea see the idea like uh, the idea will comes from like if if you have a recruitment the customer will give the recruitment like they need the specifications or if you have a idea like uh, if you want to make it as a product then from that idea or uh, you need to you need to come up with the first first we have to come up with the features and benefits from that feature and benefits you have to come up with the uh, come up with the uh, schematics okay schematics and then finally you have to convert that to a you know, i think we have discussed those things on the esd class esd sessions so thank you so much uh, thank you so much for your time back to dora is asking where to manufacture like in india like you could use pcbpower.com uh, pcbpower.com lot of manufacturers there uh, but you could they have the on online calculator okay pcb power uh, they have the online calculator like uh, uh, you could also place the order online uh, you go for see they have the calculator here like instant code okay uh, you choose the two layer board uh, you check for the instant code okay but it it should work actually but now it's not working but it should work you could you can okay here it is working instant code see you could give the pcb name a uh, single board or panel board size pcb quantity material and finally you can upload the files table files here the cost will be like 5000 rupees sorry if it is seven week days uh, it is 2000 only 2785 for a size of board uh 50 50 mm into 50 mm okay for 50 mm if if a pcb size is 50 mm into 50 mm i put 100 mm 100 mm here 100 mm into 100 mm the cost is 3800 rupees okay for 10 quantity okay for 10 quantity if you reduce the even that to 5 there is no change okay 5 it is 3800 uh 3800 rupees for 7 week days if it is five, if you want the pcb within 5 week days it is 4573 you could use pcbpower.com i think uh it they are they also give stencil and everything like you just uh, you just go through the site pcbpower.com pcbway.com you just explore the site it will be useful for you which tool i have to download for practice for pcb design which tool i have to download for practice for pcb design oh, cadence uh, cadence you have to download the cadence or cad okay 17.2 or 17.4 version explain how to resolve alter yes shrutika rao sir please explain embedded codes see the embedded codes like it's available like uh, we have it on uh, uh, you will get an email like the pricing you get an email through gamel like it's the four months online internship program uh, where you have where we cover up embedded system design like adf to architecture for five days for pick architecture for five days arm sound architecture for five days lpc 40 day cortex m4 architecture for five days and node mc for five days totally five plus projects on this course on iot like we, we have covered up the major things speak platform microsoft azure platform and aws iot platform that is for 30 days and for arduino master class is also 30 days like uh, sensors displays motors robotics and electric systems and matlab and iot and pcb design uh, we cover up like how to design a simple two layer 8210 board okay so that is pcb design so all this the pricing i think the pricing will come around 1299 uh, you may get an email uh, for one year membership uh, with apart from this you also have classes on saturdays it's a hackathon session like it will be on zoom session uh, so even this saturday uh, we have a hackathon session on pcb for the paid communities from 9:30 to morning 9:30 or 1230 it's a 3 hour session 9:30 to 1230 where you have installed the software before uh, you have to install uh, once you pay you will get a notification to how to install like the software details and how to install the software and all those things 
before the session you have to be ready with the software so that it's a hackathon session like where i do and you do like it it will be on the zoom platform okay uh nitin marathi thank you so much thank you so much for your time uh, if you have any questions please post it on there uh are you uh, are you asking why in india no one produces semiconductor chips actually we have missed the mr bus actually okay so uh, the thing is like um, it is not profitable to run a semiconductor uh, uh, company in india because uh, it's it's just like a monopoly like already the company the own those are owned by that manufacturers you cannot sell it sell at, at sell the at their price for example i'll tell you like uh, you could get a 851 ic integrated circuits or in 851 ic for the nuvatan chip you could get for 40 rupees 40 to 50 rupees uh, 852 microcontroller ic uh, 555 timer ic is 5 rupees and 10 rupees uh, if you have a semiconductor fab you cannot give at that price because uh, that should be pro- no one can uh, like only can government can uh, install a unit without profits whereas the private sector will always look for profits if they put a 50 crore or 100 crore in a business they want at least to multiply 200 crore or 300 crore at least three down three months three years down the line which is not possible on this sector because already the guys who who uh, who, who are in this business are giving a cheaper price with large quantity so uh, you need a very uh, good marketing power okay and it's not viable it's not viable this cost this answer is for aish 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 vadn kalpesh good for uh, girish kumar is altium altium is very good for pcb design yes if you if uh, we also have plans to take altium software but not uh, within then it will take another 3 months of 3 months down the line altium is also good okay you could also use altium proti software uh, proti software it's better to use see uh, if you want to make a complex design like a multi layer board then it's better to go with a cadence uh, most of the companies like even the jetson nano i'll i'll i will i will explain you one session on jetson nano or like schematics how they have done the schematics of the board design on jetson nano uh, it it was done using cadence software okay uh the altium like most of the companies like uh, the high speed design and the complex designs are made on altium mental graphics pads pcb as well as the cadence uh proteus uh, i think uh, you may you may make a simple circuits on proteus but i'm not sure about uh, whether it could go for like eight layer board or 25 layer board to manufacture a, a motherboard kind of thing or with high signal integrity boards uh, high signal high speed signals i'm not sure whether it supports proteus because i have not used all the, i have not used that level for proteus i'm not sure about that can you give the link for uh, can you give some link for schematic design software uh actually this uh, we don't have any uh, association with cadence or cat uh but if you search for the cracked version on youtube you will get the video with the crack files okay this this answer is for aishik paul okay there are lot of youtube videos they have the orcut 17.4 with the cracked version with the cracked file and they also provide the installation video how to do that you could get it you could you could get it from the youtube no pratik sharma we don't have any offline paid internship snega jain what about kai kai iCAD is also good but if but if you want to learn uh, to be complex things then it's uh, better to go with the cadence uh, thank you so much for your time uh, i'll see you in the next session i'll close the session uh, see you in the next session tomorrow until then bye bye take care